My name is Christine Phillips, and I'm an assistant professor at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about my journey through ASH CRTI and my career in novel therapies and pediatric leukemia. CRTI is the Clinical Research Training Institute of ASH. It's a year-long mentoring and educational program for fellows and junior faculty. It's an opportunity to work with well-known, experienced mentors in hematology and biostatistics. I attended this great uh, course in 2012. It was a unique opportunity with a one-week workshop in La Jolla, California. There was a follow-up meeting um, to, to uh, look at our progress in, at ASH, and then again in the spring with our group at ASH headquarters. Uh, you bring a research proposal to this meeting, and it must involve the observation of human subjects, a project with significant contribution from you. It cannot be planned to open so that it can be malleable with good rationale and improved during the workshop, something that I needed help with. I was in my lab as a fellow and looked at pharmacogenetics and the toxicity of AML therapy and how it, the population with the same disease could have some desired effect, some excessive toxicity, and no effect from others. This data was presented at ASCO, where I was looking at the toxicity of cytarabine, and those with sensitive alleles noticed in uh, cell population were known to have increased treatment-related mortality. As I ventured into my clinical career, I looked at our role with decidabine in a retrospective fashion. Decidabine was less toxic than standard cytarabine, and we looked at our eight children and young adults who had had this therapy, and there were some good responses. In addition, we did not see fungal infections or deaths. I came to CRTI with a proposal looking at azocytidine in combination with two different agents. By the time I had completed ASH, we had simplified my project to look at azocytidine and brunistat, and many changes to my pro protocol in the interim. We talked about possible pitfalls of my project in small group. How would we get the drug? What were the alternatives? Is the sample size big enough? Should we consider other centers? Is it challenging to add statistical design to two arms? And after much time, we modified this research proposal. Many members of my group, including other mentees and the um, mentors, talked about a way to, con to simplify this and look at a feasible sample size. We made mod major modifications modifications to the statistical section with the input of our biostatistician, and I was able to define the targeted toxicities and feasibility rules and incorporated safety monitoring and stopping rules. As you can see, my original design had two arms and two different drugs and a small size. Uh, we met at ASH as our final meeting and had a progress update and share our successes and barriers. We got initial input in how to move forward with our projects. It was a chance to reconnect and solidify our mentor-mentee relationships. I didn't open my study for accrual, but I was able to design a similar study that's in current progress with epigenetic therapy, um, looking at the cytobine in combination with pembrolizumab, with good rationale in AML, and emerging data in adults. This study is based off of some of the things I learned at CRTI, where there was a dose exploration phase that didn't require as many patients and then an expansion cohort to look at this combination a little more closely and define toxicities. In addition, I've been able to work with one of my colleagues on another drug in AML, which is CPX, a, a liposomal cytarabine and donorubicin. And we recently presented the ASH, at ASH the phase one findings. This is another drug where um, mucositis and acute cardiac injury were less likely to be seen with CPX315 than than standard cytarabine and uh, dotarubicin. CRTI was sort of my clinical research stepping stone. I'm currently leading efforts for CAR T-cells in ALL at the institution. I'm a local PI on three CART trials, and I'm a director of our clinical team. I'm even on meetings with some of the CRTI alum and working in a consortium to look at our real-world experience. There's so many hidden benefits of CRTI. We have delicious meals, social times, uh, opportunities to get career advice, um, and shared stories, a group of friends, and connections who will give us advice on other projects as well as the one we're working on at CRTI. The opportunities are endless when you graduate. There are so many different directions. You can enhance your ASH experience each year, serve on a grant review committee, ASH training events like I'm doing, nominations for ASH committees, collaborate on projects, network for jobs, have letters of recommendation for promotion. Um, so the benefits last beyond your time at ASH CRTI.